no cat cam. Luffy's on my lap. Oh, I need to ping my server. No overlays, GG. Neurotical, thank you so much for the one year. Holy moly. It was nice to see you at the Seattle meetup. Uh, RW Young, thank you so much for the two months. Working from home from my Rama M68, nice. L Mia, thank you so much for the four months. Ditto, thank you so much for the six months. Yo, I'm a nice switch. A Lol day fly, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> Let's go CSGO unboxing. <laughs> it's so early. Oh my goodness. Just then Demi, thank you so much for the two months. Yo yo, I just made my own custom cold cable. Oh I should probably do that too. The milkman, thank you so much for the one year as well. Two one year marks. Maddie, hello, World Eater Mods, Gibby's Fate, Opara, Zyro, started classes today, what? Lots of PXEO87 going around, good cop or not? I haven't tried it, but I think it's a good cop. I'd probably wager money it's a good cop. I finally got a job back on that KB hunt. Nice. Oh, it's the hype train, Luffy. Luffy hype train. Hype train. Woo. <laughs> Undisturbed. Oh, online classes. I see, I see. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Kind of hungry. Today's an early stream. Uh, Macum, thanks so much for the four months. FNC Deluxe, thanks so much for the Twitch Prime. So, Mario Fart World Tour. Hello, long time no see. Thank you so much for the five months, though. Auto live, thanks so much for the tier one stuff. You like this, Luffy? <laughs> you like it when I touch your ears? <laughs> EU friendly stream? Yeah, today's EU friendly stream. What do you think of Animal Crossing? So I've been debating if I should get a Switch. I've never played Animal Crossing. Never owned a Switch. Don't really play Switch games either. Luffy has grown so much. Yeah, Luffy's so big. Luffy, you're so big now. What? I'd only get one switch for Zelda. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not much of a console gamer. But it would be nice to like play with other people. Other people, a lot of other people play Switch. So maybe that's a good reason. So I can network. You know what I'm saying? Just play a docked. Um, oh my goodness, Obsidian Ray got a love a good morning scam train. Thanks so much for the 1000 bits. Hopefully you're working from home. Uh, Mod me lol, thank you so much for the bit. Dead Jusk, thank you so much for the five months. Ditto, thank you so much for the bits. Dodo, thank you so much for the bits. Nazem, thank you so much for the nine months. It's Technic, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Croissant, hello. You have friends? No, I don't actually have friends. Feels bad. Feels bad.
you guys so active today, oh? Ah! 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 Hi, hi, hi. Sorry, that. Um, Maj. K, thank you so much for the four months. Hello. Having friends is Papega? Whoa. Has your butt noticed the difference with your Herman Miller? Yes. I can sit on this chair all day. It's kind of bad, actually. I think because of this chair, I, I stand up less. Because I can sit on this all day. It does not bug me. Normally, a lot of other chairs, like, after a couple hours, I have to move around a bit. This one, I can just sit on it all day. Ah, all day. Lenny Inf Info, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime set. Yo, Chortle, hello. What do you think of Nautilus 2? I think it's a good set. It's got a very nice theme. I own round, did I per I think I have round one somewhere, so we'll see if I join round two. Maybe the novelties? I think my round one, I didn't purchase novelties. I do like the novelties of Nautilus. How many keyboards do you own? I have a command, exclamation, inventory. Fluffy Buttocks, thank you so much for the seven months. Oh my goodness, you also just gifted five subs. Holy. No, Flexer Man gifted five subs. Whoa. Hello, welcome back, Mr. Flexer Man. Long time no see. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Hopefully, your group buy is going okay. Probably on hold, I would imagine. Patiently waiting. Not that it's. Do you know anything about the GMK dots? Are they released? Are you getting them? GMK dots ran a long time ago. They are shipping out right now. I should have a set coming in next week, hopefully. Things are slow, but looks fine so far. All right. Um, tell us, Ninja Boy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Terrors, Stir, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Maj K Pazuzu, thank you so much for more bits. And Galaxy Esco, thank you so much for the bits as well. Yeah, Dots is shipping. I believe Novel Key sent out an email saying Dots is shipping. What desk mat are you currently using? The Olivia desk mat. All right, we've got three keyboard, three, four keyboard things to unbox. Starting with this. Who knows what this is? Any guesses? On what this could, what could be in a almost square box? You can. Is it recommended to always film switches if possible? Not always. New cat? Okay. Must be heights round two. No, I already have one, KCON. Cards? Maybe cards. Well, I did see it's keyboard related though. New glasses? Oh, I wish. I do need, I do want new glasses. I've had these glasses for a long time now. Artisan case? No, not artisan case. Risk of suffocation. Oh, it opens like this. Oh, what the? Hmm. 
it's kind of bright because of EU friendly streaming schedule. Um, Poverty Panda, thank you so much for the bits. Yo, Pumpkin, thank you so much for the 11 months. The baby is two months old and you still haven't given them a name? <laughs> uh, I'm the dad, Pumpkin. You're the mom. I'll give you the honor of naming your child. Ta-da! I picked up a Romley Mechanical Switch book. Early access. Whoa, what does early access mean? Why is this early access? So this is from Drop. Um, this ran on Drop a while ago. This isn't new, but I completely forgot to purchase it then. And they recently restocked a couple of this, I think. But they only had it in Japanese. They didn't restock the English one. So I was like, eh, might as well. Might as well purchase the Japanese one. Not like I'll be reading this often, I think. <laughs> this is more of like a display piece for decorating your interior. Whoa! I did not expect this to be an interactive book. What is this? Ooh, okay, some cardboard foam. Looks like it gives us a couple switches. Blank keycap. DSA keycaps, maybe? Oh, it lets us build a macro pad. Interesting. I picked that one too, and the draw canceled my order, the V2. Oh, wait, why'd they cancel your order? Yes, this was on drop. It might still be in stock. I'm not sure. But yeah, I was stupid. I completely forgot to purchase round one. Ooh, the V2 is finally here. Can I just, okay, it's just... This adhesive is pretty strong. Ah, there we go. More trash. Not gonna be in stock for long. Let's see. Let me go to Drop. No, not Dropbox. Wait, on sale for 50? I don't recall paying 58. Was this really $58? <laughs> I thought this was like 30 something. Oh. Oh, it's so expensive. I paid this much? Okay, well, okay, it's not as cheap as I thought, but there are still, you can still purchase this, free shipping to USA. Let me get the link for you guys. It's the link. Wow, it's normally $80. Damn, okay. Sinatra, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Okay, let's take a look at this book. Was this a drunk purchase? No, I wanted it. I felt that I should probably use it. I purchased one, at least to show off on stream. And I did, I did purchase this, not sponsored by Drop. Oh, there's three books. I'm gonna guess this is some kind of sticker. Yeah, this is a sticker. Uh, early access, no idea if that's a legitimate character or if that means anything, but here's a sticker. Let's take a look at this. Ooh. Oh, so this is the guide on how to assemble the macro pad. Like it just has a couple standoffs and screws. All right, pretty cool. 
What do you think of the Bella keyboard from KBD fans? Uh, I personally don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the integrated switch opening thing it has. I think it looks terrible. Yeah. Early access. Mechanical switch data book by Romley. Back. Ooh, okay. That's what the book looks all around. Let's take a look at this. First page. Ooh. This would be a nice desk mat design too. If Romley made this as a desk pad, I feel like people would buy it. Ah, yes. Cannot understand any of this. Already on the second page, we are hit with some weeb graphics. Okay. Next page. Oh. Gather on red, black, blue, brown, clear, green. Uh, what are these numberings? Maybe that's the page? Maybe this is an index. See, there's a featured switches. Kale Pro Light Green. Whoa, I've actually never tried Pro Light Green. But I guess they include it here. Okay, so it has some force curves. Uh, I wonder who... Okay. Maybe these graphs are Hata's graphs? I'm not sure. But they did quote Input Club here. I'm not sure what it's for. Yeah, I wonder who did these force curves or who recorded these. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's just Hata's force curves. Actuation point, overall travel, actuation force, bottom out force, peak force, actuation energy. So here we have the keycap, uh, keycappy, also made by Romley. I should ask Romley for one of these. I I have never seen a keycappy in person. I think I've only seen them on his Instagram. But pretty cute. Another nice desk accessory if you like. This person really likes Gateron and Kale switches, I guess. Gateron red. Ooh, another force curve. Linear lightweight 63.11 GFNM. Romley himself, yeah, I should send him a message on Instagram or something. Gather on blacks. Linear medium weight. Gather on blue. Ooh, imagine using gather on blues. Literally not good. Got browns, okay. It, it is nice to see the forest curve all big though and labeled. I think even having these label points probably uh, much more readable for first timers. I forget if Hata's curve. I know Hata's plots, if you move the mouse, you can see it, but I don't think it has it labeled at certain points like this. I think even just having these like two points labeled, pretty nice touch. Gather on clears. Olivia has one of the huge key cappies. Ooh. N473K3364. I think it's one of the Switch Prime sub. Got greens. Yellow. This is literally a Gatteron book. Where's Mr. Gatteron? They are in our chat. Kale Pro series. Ooh. More of his keycappy stuff. Or, okay, burgundy. Kale Pro purple. Kale Pro light green. Uh, ooh, box thick clicks. That's pretty cute. They're going fishing for box thick clicks with the click bar. <laughs> Box Thick Clicks Jade. My goodness, look at this curve. 
82.39 at its peak. Oh, box navy is 89.53. Oh, this is cool. They plot it. Actuation energy plot. Uh, I'm going to guess this is... The heck is this? Is this bottom out? Yeah. This is bottom out force. And looks like they're... Looks like they're plotted according to bottom out. There's an overlay of all the curves as well over here. Pretty cool. Ooh. In text table format, if that is your that is more to your visual liking. Okay, and now it looks like he's plugging himself. Go support the person, Kikapi, on Instagram. Oh, there's a Patreon, I didn't even know. I have no idea what Pixiv fan box is, but the, here, here are the QR codes. Nice little art. Oh, what the heck is this? I've never seen this before. Are those keycaps that he made? What the? There you go. Oh, it looks like this is the giant keycappy. So this is meant for one of the big switches. I should probably get some for the two that I have remaining. Get some keycappies for those and put it on the shelf. Yeah, this is the book by Romley. Mechanical Switch Data Book, available on Drop. Shall we build out this switch tester? Well, this is, is this aluminum? It's kind of hefty. Oh, Paro, thanks so much for the bits. It's not aluminum, but it's got some weight. 27 gangs, thank you so much for the Switch Prime sub. Michael Puras, thank you so much for the Switch Prime sub. Make them fish for kitties? What? All right. Okay, I can see why this is 56 bucks now. It makes sense. They include this nice quality switch tester. It's even labeled. Pretty cool. Oh, Gateron Kale Pro. Novel Keys X Kale Box Thick Clicks. Hmm, which face do I like? I like this face better. I should have it like this, huh? Okay. We're gonna need these standoffs. Don't lose these. Oh no! Okay, let's take a look at his guide. Okay. Uh, and say hello, thanks so much for the tip. Good day, Nathan. Prefer your streams or podcasts at work? Thank you. How many total card decks do you have right now? Total card decks? I've actually never counted in Seho. I wouldn't be surprised if I have over a hundred. What lube did you use yesterday on the stabs of the Polaris? Crytox 205 grade zero. But I've been collecting cards since... Uh, over a decade. <laughs> So my collection isn't massive, considering that. Okay, so it looks like we just twist the screw with the standoffs. Pretty simple assembly. Exceeds 
exceeding my little collection of 25 decks. Yeah, I mean, 25 decks, not a lot. Even if you take a look at like, oh, crap. I got this track, oh, it's right here. Even if you look at like Art of Play, there's way more than 25 decks on their website that you can currently purchase. Um, A Yusuf, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Do you think non-looped Gateron yellows are good? No. They're not the worst. Gateron yellow is definitely a decent linear, but still wouldn't use it unlooped. Can someone link me some in-stock lube for Gateron Optical Silvers? Well, if you want lube, you should check out switchmod.net slash type saves you 4% off your lube purchases. Hmm, did they send me an extra st standoff? Well, it looks like they did. This diagram also only uses five. Nice, they even sent extras. Make sure these are all tight. He said in stock. Oh, is switch mod out? Okay, and then we just screw the other ends in. Okay, maybe for this one, we do need a screwdriver. Infamous Kai Christ, hello. Is it worth lubing cherry silent red switches? Yes, most definitely worth it. Some of my keys on my Ducky Mini have chatter or don't actuate sometimes. Any fix? Yeah, I need to replace the switch. That's the fix. Two more screws. Where can I find updated Cherry MX switches with a hundred million keystroke life? What? Oh, are you talking? Is that the one that was released at CES? The whack, what they call it, Cherry Violets or something? Is that the one you're talking about? I don't know if they're out yet for the public. Um, Matt the Wall in there. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Right, let me tighten these. All right. This looks pretty neat. Gateron, Kale Pro, Novel Key Stick Clicks. Got five standoffs, and this is the bottom. Oof. All right, and it comes with the switches already. In this cute little bag. It says, Ki Kirimi, Kirimi. It's got a picture of a fish. Is that a fish bowl? Looks like a fish bowl. Stay bullish, Duff. Thank you so much for the nine months. Mm, okay. This is Gateron Red. <laughs> Gateron Black. Gateron Yellow. Kale Pro Purple. 
This is a jade. Got it all clear. Get green, navy, gather on blue, light green, get brown, kale pro burgundy. Oh, there's even bump ons. Where would I put the bump ons though? Hmm. Eh, no need for bump ons. Put the keycaps on. What lube should I use for my first time lubing? Trebosis 3204. Do these have an orientation? Caps are weird. I can't just like stick it in easily. There's a bit of resistance. Are you tuning in in two hours? Ooh, we could definitely. I can stream snipe you if you want, Key Cult. If that's allowed. Are you gonna copyright strike the VOD if I stream snipe? <laughs> Good luck ever getting those keycaps off. Uh, I don't really need to take these off. <laughs> this sounds terrible. Have you considered an answers to common questions section in your info? I have Mowgli. Uh, no one would read it. People come in here, they don't even read the stream title. I can't expect them to read an FAQ section. I have a couple questions in the FAQ section. People still ask me those questions. <sighs> Akarshi, hello. Even, even if I made tutorials, people will still not watch it and just ask me. <laughs> people still ask you about everything? Yeah. Even if I updated my lube guide, then I, they'd be like, I don't want to watch. I'll just ask him. All right, this is the Early Access Mechanical Switch data book by Romley, which you can currently get off drop. Pretty nice. Yeah, if I, if I had a big enough house where I had like, you know, a living room for guests to just sit in, lounge in, I would have this out on a coffee table. Offer them a cup of coffee and be like, here, you might not read Japanese, but you can peruse this book. I had to step, oh, key code. I asked if I could stream snipe you, if I'm still alive. I could potentially end the stream early and give you a host. I'm not building a keyboard today, so we're just planning on doing some keyboard tour. We're just unboxing some stuff. Oh yeah, you could stream snipe? Okay, I'm down. Uh, two hours? Someone ping me in two hours. Wait, two hours as in noon? When is their stream today? 4 p.m. EDT, six hours from now. So 1 p.m. EDT. Wait, you said six hours from now, and you posted that at seven, so it's at one p.m. Yeah, one p.m. for me. 
three hour difference, East Coast, all right. So this is the first item we have unboxed. I got spoiled? Oh, the Zambumon? Oh wait, Zambumon does know the news, yeah. <laughs> he does know. It's okay, Zambumon, we'll both act surprised. We know what's coming, but we'll be like, <gasps> no way? No way, key called? What? <laughs> Number seven, revision 23. All right. The next item to unbox is from Wu Ting. So we had a stream where I checked out their keyboard last time. Recently, they came out with some wrist dress and they sent them to me free of charge to try out. So we'll see how it is. I, they, it looks like they, what did they say? It, I think they made it sound like it was different from existing wrist rest. We'll see how. All right, let's take a look at this. Your wrists will thank us later. Wooting wrist rest. The wrist rest for gamers. Did you know you have to float your hands while typing? Uh, okay. Ergonomics. Uh, okay. Soft to the touch, anti slip base, waterproof. You can squish it, cuddle it, but you won't sink in it. Nap natural temperature control. Okay. Lots of surface, lots of grip. Silicone. Oh, interesting. Ooh, is this generative design? Durable. Why is this white? Durable, washable, unbreakable. Bend it, twist it, scratch it. The routine will retain the shape. Okay. Two sizes. It's interesting. Their two sizes are for full size and ten keyless. I don't own a single full size. Just black, midnight blue. The advantages. Durable. Okay. All right. Maybe they don't market it as anything out of the norm. Let's take a look. Tear me. This is the packaging. It gives you big muscle. Ooh. Very flexible. Ooh. It smells like oh you could it already has my <laughs> my nose oils. It smells like Sharpie. This is definitely going to be a fingerprint magnet, but they said it's very easy to clean. So this is the TTL size. Okay, so it's got the Wooting logo, bottom right. Very matte. Uh, I'm not sure what degree this elevates it by or how tall this is. Back is angled. So yeah, so this is made specifically for the Wooting keyboards. The Wu Ting has that front curve, so that's what this is for. Not curve, but the front slant. This is the bottom. This is what the uh, Evolve 75 keyboard will look like on the back. Maybe thinner edges, but same thing. Hair me. Let's take a look at the full size. Is this just black? Ooh, this is just black. This is gonna be a pain. Yeah, I mean, I have two cats. I was holding them this morning. So some of it on the sleeve already transferred to this. You can see some of the cat hairs. Wow, look at this full size. Oh, okay, nose ink test. Yep, has, picks up my nose oil already. <laughs> That's a very, 
deep black. So let me bring out my whale. So this here, this is whale. This is my whale, round two black. This is definitely a darker black. G Pro Wireless black. Oh yeah, it's deeper than my G Pro Wireless. This is the Rama Works black tray. Oh, pretty comparable. Oh, wait. This angle, wait, it's slightly bigger than a TKO. Okay. Maybe this is the whale's, maybe the whale is skinnier. But it actually matches pretty well for my whale. I don't know what front height this whale has, but pretty nice actually. Ooh, okay. I feel more ergonomic. I can now rest my wrists comfortably. Mmm, it's a shame it's not exact. But I guess it's good to have a little bit of room. Uh, it does move around pretty well on this desk mat. But, I mean, when you're typing, you're not moving it around, so. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about it moving around while using it. Janelli, hello! Let me see if I can show a side profile. So assuming the board is flat like this, the wrist rest is also flat. Yeah, it's actually a pretty decent match on the table. Nice. Can you see if it fits another TKO? Fine, I'll go bring another TKO. Hold on, let me go. I also realized I do have a full size. My first OG nice custom mechanical keyboard. Is that your original high pro? Yes, this is the first nice custom mechanical keyboard I purchased. It's been five years ago now. I still have it. It is completely stock. It's got some shine going on it. PBT keycaps, but it's getting some shine. It's not terrible, but Not def definitely not brand new. <laughs> can we hear it? Sure, I can do a typing test for it. It's completely stock, you won't like it. Ooh. So it looks like for the full size, maybe the Topra is just a little bit thick, but it looks like the full size is actually shorter by like three fourths of a finger's width, or my finger's width at least. It's not too bad. Um, this front edge, is a little bit higher than the real force but i think that's okay this is high pro so you you having that little bit of extra height makes it a little bit more comfortable i think 
before we do a typing test of this. Someone wanted to see TKO one with another keyboard. I think I brought another key keyboard. What is in here? Um, Dube Sin, however. Oh, this is my unbuilt Jane. We'll see. Um, and Seho, thanks so much for the tip. By asking, we have an excuse to donate as well. One question though. How many questions can we ask? You can ask as many questions as you want. What are those crazy giveaways coming that you talked about? They will be coming... Let's say within the next month, hopefully less than a month. Ooh, with the Jane blue-gray. This dark blue, kind of not bad actually. Um, so it looks like it is also wider than the Jane. The front height though, pretty good. It's, I mean, you can feel the seam, but it's not too elevated. It's like a pretty nice match actually. Ooh, I like. It's pretty clean. I mean, it does have their logo here, but I think because of the way the colors are, it actually blends in pretty well. Let me try brightening this. Oh, that went dark. Even blown out. Their logo, it's not super visible, I can say, I will say. Yeah. And it's, it's not like a super terrible logo to have, I think. Um, the texture is actually kind of nice. It feels like a high quality eraser. <laughs> so it is definitely silicone. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe if you're sweaty, it might become an issue, I don't know. I'm not sure how this would perform once you start sweating on your palms with extended use. Definitely a fingerprint magnet, oil magnet. Pretty comfortable. I, I think I like this more than wood wrist rests. I personally don't like wooden wrist rests. Um, I don't like it when the wrist rests are too hard. I do prefer silicone or even gel wrist rests a lot more. So. Good choice of material, I think. Wooden wrist rests look nice, but yeah, it's personally too hard for my taste. This silicone, it's firm enough, very firm. Yeah, I don't feel like my wrists are sinking in, but it's comfortable enough where like my palms aren't hurting from resting against it. Where did you get that? This is from Wooting Keyboards. You can get it on their website. Is that a lens with D-clicked aperture? Uh, no, I'm changing the aperture on my camera. We uploading new YouTube video in an hour? Oh, there's a new one? Okay. Um, yo, TRG, well, thank you so much for the eight months. Oppa Sarangye, Kibu Mio. Okay, TRG. <laughs> All right. I actually, yeah. Well, let's see how much this costs. Can I recommend this? How expensive is this? Um, buy now, let's see. Oh, not too expensive. Not too expensive, chat. It's $30 for just black, midnight blue, full size. 10 keyless is $27.99. Full size increases it by $2. So not too bad, I would say. If you're okay with the branding, <clears throat> not too bad. I figure, I figure most of you guys will get the 10 keyless, $27.99. Yeah. And it seems like for most custom TKLs, I figure most of them would have a similar front height as the chain. I could be wrong. It does extend a little bit past it. 
Okay, now do they ship from Europe? Um, <laughs> let me try adding one to cart and see if see how much shipping is. That's a good question, Maz. Uh, Error? Oh, you want... Continue to shipping. Shipping is $8 for me. For standard. Uh, it says Wooting Store NA. Maybe there's a Wooting Store... Wait, why can't I see their storage? Oh, there is a European International. Store region, there's a North America and there's a Europe. So US, USA, Europe and international. So you can check out how much shipping is for you on their international region site. Yeah. I feel like this for us custom folks, this is this is probably a good like beater wrist rest. This is probably going to be very good for work. If you want to commute with a wrist rest, you can bend it. Oh, hopefully it doesn't snap. Okay, but silicone, you can store this in your bag. And if you want something nicer, more permanent at home, maybe that's when you get the uh, Key Cult wrist rest. That's going to be made out of aluminum and polycarbonate. But this is definitely more portable, I would say. And something you would, something you'd be comfortable like beating it up while using. Like, yeah, it'll probably rip somewhere down the line, but it's not super expensive, I think. Pretty nice. I like, I actually like these wrist rests a lot. Okay, taste test the wrist rest? What's wrong with you guys? Shipping is 9.95 euros, no thanks. <laughs> World Corona, this guy lick it. <laughs> And I still have my Jane unbuilt because I'm trying to get an Alps plate cut for it in Palm. But the guy I'm getting it cut from has still not shipped it out or gotten it cut. Feels bad. So that's why it is unbuilt. Alps bad? Okay, Glacier, fight me. Hello, Glacier, long time no see. It smells like Sharpie. You might get high off this. Maybe it's good to air this out when you first receive it. Yeah, mine smells like Sharpie. But having two of these, ooh, I could smell it. Where's this rest rest from? It is from Wooting keyboards. All right, someone wanted to hear what a five-year-old unmodded Real Force High Pro full size sounded like. So here we go. My mouse. Ooh. Oh, I should use the wrist wrist. Ja -ja. All right, this is completely stock. Let's see how fast I type on this. Connect. 
Can someone tell me some switches that don't chatter in a link? Every switch has the potential to, potential to chatter, Crazy Titan. Oh, wait, 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 music is on, music is on. What the? No! Luffy, no! This is what stock Hypro Topra sounds like, chat. to this it was not like this last time I used this I did let my dad use this for a couple months what did mr. dad do okay using this keyboard anymore it's just so big <laughs> it takes up way too much space um, especially when I'm streaming I can't have this taking up like a third of my work area so I let my dad use this but yeah it feels good <sighs> all right we got one more thing to unbox chat and this last one is a keyboard. Um, black and red dog husky, thank you so much for the six months. Little air bison, welcome back for five months. Hello, hello. Oh, I somehow opened up Internet Explorer. Bring back the music. Um. Dun, dun. Do we have a new Novel Keys keyboard to leak? NK75? What if it's an NK TKO? Oh, 
Whoever sent that is cool AF. Yeah, novel key is pretty cool. NK 12%. Seven V? Do I have a seven V? Oh, proto in here. Ah, it's an NK sticker. Ooh, this knife is getting dull. I think. Purple stabilizers. I do need to get some. Wait, what? Office Depot. O S H A OSHA using dull knife and cutting towards yourself. What's OSHA? I thought that. Wait, Witty. This is your package. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> This <laughs> they have they've been hit with the zoomies. Blueberry or something? No, no blueberries. Oh, is this? Some leet 7D packaging. Ooh. Ooh. Ahaha. -ha. You guys got trolled. It's not the 7D. <laughs> Never said it was a 7V, come on. No, I purchased I purchased a uh, Matrix keyboard. I've heard many things about Matrix keyboards. Wow, look at this. They they like screwed or bolted on something to the cover. Went crazy. On sub train? What the heck is all this? What? Okay. Those are rivets? Sorry. Ah, rivets. What is this, Chet? Well, those are JST connectors, I think. But what are these? They don't look like LEDs. What the heck are those? Some kind of, some kind of something. GST connect, oh. Pins for the female connectors. Uh. I'm probably probably better to leave this out then so it doesn't get stapled. But yes, 
I purchased a Matrix 2.0 version Korea for two reasons. One, I wanted to say I've tried out a Matrix board and own one. And two, because this is version Korea, as a proud Korean, I needed to have a Korean, a board that said version Korea on it. So, oh my good. <laughs> what the heck? So this is, this is some of that crazy, pretty out there matrix design language. Look at this back. Version Korea. Matrix Lab since 2015. This is a personal keyboard, yes. Matrix since 2015 Lab. 8X version 2.0. Version Korea. It's got silver anno. Oh wow, look at this. They have their logo on the bump on. Or maybe it's underneath. Maybe it's a stick. No, I think it's in the bump. I think the bump on is actually just like this. Low key, I like 1.2 more. I do like the aesthetics of the 1.2 more. I also agree. But from talking to community members, they a lot of community members prefer the typing feel and sound of the 2.0, which is why I ultimately went with this. I do like the aesthetics of the 1.2 better. But 2.0, I believe this is also pretty close to the Corsa. So I'll never own an OTD board in my lifetime. This is about as close as I can get. I have typed on a couple, but yeah, this is it. It's light great. Oh, this is light great. Okay. Yeah, wind keyless. Well, this is wind key. I'm thinking maybe I'll put some white OG palm keycaps on here. Do you guys think that would look well? These are some OG palms from Fang's group buy. How does this look? No? You guys don't think this would go well? Too bad. White with silver gray, light gray. <sighs> or I could put black palm on here. I do have black palm sets as well. But yeah, not building this today. I don't have switches. I also need to figure out this cable situation because uh, I need to get one made for it. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys. We've also never showed off a matrix board on my channel, so I thought I'd show it off. This is a this is a light, some kind of indicator light here. That I need to get working. Oh, what? It just rotates? Okay. Oh god, I'm typing on my TCV3 impossible. <laughs> How do you guys feel? Do you guys like Matrix's pretty out there design language? Vote yes or no. Not just this 8x v2, but even their other keyboard designs. Do you guys like Matrix designs? Vote yes or no. Yes, no. Looks like the majority of chat leaning towards yes. Oh, just kidding. It's wavering back and forth. People like Matrix because they don't know any better. Ooh, Heine with fighting words. Wow, looks like the majority of my chat does, or today's chat does like Matrix though. Is Matrix a group? But they're a, I guess company? A keyboard design, keyboard making studio? They make keyboards. They are di Matrix Labs is different from Matrix Keyboards. Matrix Keyboards make uh, cheaper, budget-friendly 
uh, off the shelf kind of products. Matrix Labs, they deal with custom keyboard kits. All right. Gotta put this away. Lenders, thank you so much for the three months. It looks nice. The plate they had for your model was a weird color for me. I think it's supposed to be some kind of teal color. Yeah. You can only make a rectangle so many ways. Heine, what about who says a keyboard has to be a rectangle? Give me a circular keyboard or a triangular keyboard. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, one last thing, chat. One last thing. Who can guess what this is? Last thing to unbox. Macro pad? Nope, not a macro pad. Artisan? Not an artisan. Did you guys know? I'm a hardcore. No, I shouldn't say it online actually. <laughs> Where's the opening for this? <laughs> so I told you guys I've been trying out different syringes to inject um, some very harmful but edible uh, lubricants into your stabilizers. So this was recommended to me by Miss. How do I, I've never used this. So this is, this was recommended to me by Mr. Petrov. Uh, where's my old syringe? So this was, <laughs> This was one of the syringes I've been playing around with. Uh, it works okay. The tip though, it's a little bit too thick. Oh yeah, this is definitely finer. Look at the difference. So this tip definitely skinnier than this tip. So I'm gonna try experimenting, sucking up some 205 grade zero, give it the and then inject some lube into the stabs. Um, it might work out. Mr. Petrov said he's had good results with this. Um, I don't expect this to be a replacement for the method that I currently use, but I think this might be helpful for uh, retuning your stabilizers after you've already built a keyboard. After you've already built a keyboard, if it feels like you need a bit more lube, instead of having to take apart the whole stab, you could just inject some 205 grade zero using this. So, unfortunately they didn't sell, oh, rip music, GG. Unfortunately, they didn't sell it in a pack of one. I had to buy it as a pack of, this is like 10 or 12. <laughs> this is why I have this many syringes, but. How do I take this apart now? What? GG. Can I not take this apart once it's been... Hmm. <laughs> what drugs are you doing today? I am using a drug called Crytox 205 Grade Zero. It's stuck. Twist the needle. Oh, Heine. Oh, Heine has experience. How did you know to twist it, Heine? Huh? Okay, I'm just gonna transfer the 205 grade zero in here because this syringe I do not recommend. You wanna see some 205 getting oozed out? Ooh, there you go, okay. Oh, 
Okay, I have squeezed out 25G0 from this. There should be a good amount to squeeze into a stab. Oh yeah, that, that's a decent amount of 205 grade zero. Hopefully the 205, hopefully the needle isn't too small. To, okay, we'll test this out. On this, we'll consider this the Teha types Petri dish. How did you get it in the first syringe in the first place? What do you mean? The first syringe, you can take this off. There's no, this doesn't come off or on. This is an integrated tip on this syringe. All right. Can I squeeze out very small amounts of 205 grade zero on this? You guys ready for this? Ooh, I don't want it to splatter on my screen. It's not coming out. I need to oh, it is coming out. Ooh. Ooh. It works. <laughs> Maybe this is the solution. There goes 20 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to see. Uh, let's see, okay. Ah, I mean, I don't need to tune this stab yet, but let's say it's already built. Could I get the right angle to inject this 205 grade zero? So let me take out the surrounding keys. Oh. Ooh, I could definitely do it from the front. Can I do it from the rear? I'm going to apply one large, that's what she said to this entire segment. <laughs> so yeah. Um, what I have been playing around with is on a keyboard that's already built with uh, screwing or snapping stabs. When you lift the stab on the back, you guys can see the wire so the, the end where the wire tips show, you can take a syringe like, oh, it goes in. Yeah, so you, I can take this syringe and shove it in the hole where the wire is. And then I could inject the good goods, you know. So it looks like even, yeah, it looks like this. I was worried. The one thing I liked about this is that it was tipped so I could stick it in there. But because this is so fine and long, Ooh, it goes in. Let me get you guys a close up. So that's what we're looking for. Ooh. Ooh, maybe this does work. So, yeah. We'll try this out. Well, I'll try this out sometime. It's raining right now. What? But yeah, thank you to uh, Mr. Petrov. He's the one who recommended this specific product. If it works out, I'll recommend it to you guys as well. But Mr. Petrov said he's had pretty good results with it. I know Mr. Petrov decently well. I trust him. We'll see. Why not today? I don't need to tune this board. <laughs> it's already tuned. I don't have a board to tune per se. But pretty cool. I mean, if you guys don't want to wait for my results, you guys can also just try searching one of these syringes on Amazon. It's pretty cheap, not too expensive. Test on A17. My A17 is fine though. Kind of hard to tell. Can you guys even hear the keyboard well with the rain? Oh, I lied. Spacebar could need could use a bit more. Okay. Can't hear the rain. All right. 
So this is what the spacebar sounds like. I've taken this to a couple meetups now. Spacebar has been kind of worn in a bit. All right, let's see if I could squeeze, inject the lube. And we'll see if it makes a difference. So you're going to want to take out the surrounding switches. Mm. So I still have some 205 grade zero in here. You flick it. Talk about Chew. Thank you so much for the two months. Yo, Heidi, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Lube me up. <laughs> All right. So you want to lift the lube, the stab. Stick the syringe in, probably as, I'm guessing as deep as you can. And then squeeze. I guess I should take a look here. Ooh. Ooh. Squeeze. Maybe put some in the front as well. Ah, I don't have the angle for the front. Okay, we'll see if doing it from the back is enough. I'm actually unsure how much I put in, but I still have a lot in here. <laughs> mm, kind of better, maybe. Still could use a bit more, I think. Let's try a little bit more. I could also... a bit more lube on the side here against the housing give it a good rub all around I still have a lot of lube left in here. Oh, it got better. What is this? The silent switch is not the best to test it on though. ZXC. Sounded like it was scratching against something. It might be scratching against the case. Oh yeah, it's definitely scratching against the case. <laughs> it's pretty close against the case, so if, depending on the angle, it does hit the case. But during normal typing use, I don't really hit it. Ooh, okay, looks like this does work. I could shove this deep in there enough to inject some lube. 
Nice. Call me the lube injector now. Only one case though. I will have to see. I will try it on another board before I completely recommend this. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. <laughs> ah, I also need to trash this. This has lube. The unwanted lube trail. Make sure to clean up after yourselves, chat, after a lube session. <laughs> Your build commands, oh, music is still off, sorry. Okay, that is it for today's keyboard content. Tomorrow we will have a build. Um, I was supposed to have a build today, but it got delayed. I did have another keyboard as well, but I need to do some prep for it. But yeah, the package got delayed, so that's why we didn't build today, but tomorrow, I can, if, even if the package doesn't come today, I can prep the keyboard for tomorrow, so definitely keyboard build tomorrow. Thankfully, I had some stuff to unbox. Two hours till Key Cult? I mean, I can game. I can 